One of the problems we face in caring for patients with stents in their coronaries is what to do about restenosis or better, in-stent stenosis. European studies have shown that bare metal stents with in-stent stenosis are better treated with drug-coated balloon angioplasty rather than plain old balloon angioplasty. Now in Jack is a second tier report. What is better for in-stent stenosis in drug-eluting stents? This time drug-eluting stents, of course. The report documents the outcome of paclitaxel-coated balloon angioplasty for treatment of drug-eluting stent restenosis compared with uncoated balloon angioplasty alone. In this prospective multicenter randomized trial, 110 patients with drug-eluting stent stenoses located in a native coronary artery were randomly assigned to paclitaxel-coated balloon angioplasty or uncoated balloon angioplasty. Dual antiplatelet therapy was prescribed for six months and angiographic follow-up was scheduled at six months as well. The primary endpoint was late lumen loss with a secondary clinical endpoint of a composite of cardiac death, myocardial infarction attributed to the target vessel or target lesion revascularization. The study showed the treatment with a paclitaxel-coated balloon was superior to balloon angioplasty alone with a late loss of only half of that seen in the uncoated balloon patients, resulting in a restenosis rate that was reduced from 58% to 17%. In addition, the composite clinical endpoint was significantly reduced from 50% to 17%, and though you might guess correctly that this endpoint was driven by target vessel revascularization, there was also a barely significant improvement in death, although the number of patients who died was fortunately small. I wish interventional cardiologists had this technology available in the United States, but the drug-coated balloon is not FDA approved. We are stuck with an option of cutting balloon, regular balloon, or stent within stent placement for drug-eluting stent stenosis. Which to choose? In two weeks, Jack will publish another study from Korea that answers that question. Come back to Heart Minutes in two weeks and get that answer. I'm Peter Block, and this is a CardiSource Heart Minute.